We are recording here. Um, all right, everybody. Um, who's got the first question? Owen? Sure, why don't I go first? Um, yeah, you guys are uh, just whatever, a week or a week and a half or so into the season. Just uh, I, I just want to hear about having a chance to play with a former Hawkeye, how you guys have gelled as teammates, and um, what this has been like in this uh, first season together on the Aces roster. A oh, quick little story, I guess. <laughs> like, I guess to explain our Hawkeye connection, like I had a great assist to Megan uh, during the Sparks game, and it was not even meant for Megan. <laughs> But her Spider Woman hands grabbed it out of thin air, so um, it just kind of worked out perfect. But it's been great, you know. Um, we have some coaches in town right now for the game this weekend, and you know, it's it's fun. We know all the same people for the most part, you know, and we went through a similar college experience, and then obviously going through training camp together, and now on the same team. It's been nice to have each other and have a familiar face around, and um, yeah. It's a lot of fun. I mean, Kate's been doing a really good job. She's such a hard worker. Um, and we, we already have that chemistry. So, you know, especially yesterday, I noticed like we had a lot of passes to each other. That was really fun. Um, and that's been going on all throughout training camp and into the season. So just really excited to keep that Hawkeye connection going and mm -hmm. to get a win tomorrow. Oh, your hand is still up. Did you have a follow-up or was that just... Well, I just raised it again, but uh, I may as well jump in with a question that a lot of people are probably going to be wondering for uh, Kate today, just knowing that uh, you and Caitlin Clark are going to be going against each other this weekend. Uh, I don't know. I know you had a lot of communication with her in the build up to the season. Have you guys still had a lot of communication and what's been the discussion about um, tomorrow's game? Yeah, um, we talk every every day as much as possible. Obviously, we're both busy, but um yeah, we've, we've kind of joked with each other back and forth, you know, there's been a lot of banter and um, she was like, she wants to guard each other, but I don't know, it, it's just kind of funny, you know, it's just jokes, but um, yeah, I'm just excited to see her. I mean, she's, you know, my best friend more than, you know, us being basketball players. So I just miss my friend and I'm excited to see her because I haven't in over a month and that's the longest we've been apart in four years. So it's kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, uh, obviously, you know, Caitlin's amazing. Everybody knows that, but I'm just really excited to see her and really excited for the game tomorrow. Rafiq, you're next. This is Rafiq with nothing but that sports talk. I mean, you guys, yeah, obviously you guys have a lot to reflect on the, the first loss of the season, only like the second home loss you've had in like the past, past 20 or 20 something games. I mean, I know you guys weren't on the team, but what is Aces doing to like get back the home court dominance, especially with the amount of fan engagement that's going to happen this weekend with Caitlin Clark coming to Las Vegas? Yeah, I mean, I think it's it's been tough. Obviously, having Chelsea Gray out, um, you know, we mentioned that before. You know, she's she's one of the best point guards in the entire world. So obviously, when that's taken out, um, we have great people that have stepped up in in place of that, and you know, sharing point guard duties, whatever it has to be to fill that role. But it's hard, and of course, um, you know, we're going to have some some errors here and there trying to figure out, trying to organize. And, you know, you kind of saw that last game. So um, we just got to keep working hard, really just focus on our circle, um, kind of just ignore the outside, outside noise and just approach this game like any other game, um, because at the end of the day, that's what it is. And question for you, Kate Martin. Um, you managed to at least manage to get your first couple of buckets during the first few games of your WBA career. Like how, how, what is like the confidence level towards getting more adjusted to playing the professional level for yourself? Yeah, I'm just trying to take it day by day, honestly. Um, yeah, I, you know, I scored, had a block in the first, you know, game versus Sparks, but um, that that's already in the past, you know, I'm just trying to focus on getting better every single day in practice and um, just really trying to focus on the schemes and executing and just being myself out there. And my, my teammates make it easy for me. You know, I'm playing with the best in the world. So, uh, you know, it makes my job pretty easy. And I'm just trying to, you know, be a good supporting cast. Appreciate you. Say good luck. Thank you. Doug Green? Hi, I've got a question for each of you ladies. Kate, are you surprised at how much play time that you've actually got early on the season being kind of a second round rookie? And it's tough to tough to kind of make the roster to start with and then to get this kind of playing time. And then for Megan, um, did they just discuss with you at all, um, you know, when they were going to draft Kate, did they get any input from you 
um, along the way? Um, I don't want to say like I'm surprised because that makes it feel like I have no confidence in myself, you know, but um, am I really happy and grateful that I have this opportunity? Um, yes, I am. And, you know, I'm just trying to maximize that and I'm trying to do my best and just work really hard every every moment I get. And that's, you know, that's my job is to go out there and impact the game in any way I possibly can. And so that's really just been my approach um, with the minutes that I get. Yeah, to answer your question, I had zero idea. <laughs> I, was saying, I had zero idea. <laughs> I, have, I was laying on my couch watching. The pancake was on the ground sleeping. All of a sudden, I see your name there, and I, I jumped, and I almost stepped on my dog. So, um, yeah, no idea. It was really fun. Um, I was screaming, and then I was trying to call everybody to <laughs> just talk about it, celebrate it. So we, really we FaceTimed after. We did. In we the did. Car. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Thank you. I'll go next to, uh, and I apologize if I mispronounce your name, Rowie Hader? Yes, Rowie. Uh, okay, uh, okay. Uh, first for Kate, I'm curious, um, just, you know, thinking about how much of a, like, Hawkeye occasion this is, the mm -hmm. adjustment between, or sort of comparison similarities, differences you see between um, Lisa Bluter and Becky Hammond. Like, I know that, you know, sort of lucked out in terms of having two great coaches so far. I'm curious what the adjustment process has been um, to uh, life in in Becky's system rather yeah. than Coach Bluters. Right. Well, I mean, I think whenever you go to a different team after being with the same coach, the same system for six years, it's obviously going to be, and you know, an adjustment no matter where you're at. But Coach Hammond makes that adjustment, you know, pretty seamless and um, she's phenomenal, obviously. And like, yeah, there are similar similarities and differences between, you know, Coach Bluter and Coach Hammond, but they're both very calm demeanors um, and they both know the game like nobody else. <laughs> like it's, it's really cool to watch and it's cool to learn from, that I got to learn from Coach Bluter and it's cool that I get to learn from Coach Hammond right now because she's so knowledgeable, but uh, more than anything, you know, they're str both strong female leaders and they are very uplifting with their players and they want to, you know, continue to elevate strong female leaders on their team. And that's the main similarity I see between them both. And then, uh, Megan, I do have a separate question for you, but I was curious if you had any comps also before I ask. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I'm a little bit more removed from Iowa. Um, you know, this is my sixth year now um, being away from it, but um yeah they're two of the best coaches I've ever had in my life um, hands down I knew that from day one from each of them so just very blessed um to be a part of obviously Iowa women's basketball and then now with the aces um we're just really excited to be here mm -hmm. and then just the last thing I had is I'm curious if um this will be or if there's been any prior like run-ins on the court between you and Caitlin Clark if you if whether she came as a recruit or if you were visiting practice afterward, like how many times if ever have you actually like faced her, uh, faced her on the court? Yeah. I mean, there was a gap year, I think in between when I left and then when she was there. So, I mean, I've obviously gone back to Iowa city a few times. I think I even jumped in a scrimmage once yeah. summer, um, you know, so I was able to get on the court with her then to be honest, I don't remember that much. It was a while ago. Uh, a lot's been going on, but um, obviously she's a great player. Really excited to to be able to meet officially again. I mean, against each other with, you know, it's just how it is. We're just excited um, just to be on the same court with two other hot guys. It's pretty special. I mean, it's the WNBA. It's the best of the best. And to be, to be able to all be in WNBA uniforms at the same time in the same place, is pretty, pretty crazy. Pretty cool. Thank you both. Best of luck tomorrow. And of course, all my best to pancake. Thank you. She says hello. <laughs> uh, Owen, you've got time to uh, get another one from you before we close out. Love it. Um, I, I always feel like it's going to be awkward answering a question about somebody sitting next to you, but I'd be curious just to ask Megan about what what Kate, Kate Martin's work ethic has been like to get her on the roster, because I think maybe a lot of Hawkeye fans or media even thought like, oh, wow, that's really nice for Kate that she got drafted and she made the roster. Boy, that's great. But, you know, she's been the second, third person off the bench at this point. And I don't know if a lot of people would have seen that coming. So what it is it what is it that Kate's put into this that's uh, helped her get already so many minutes, minutes this early in her career? 
Absolutely. You know, I noticed it right away in training camp. She's the hardest worker. Um, you know, she's, she's in the gym. We, I mean, we got a conditioning session in to get today, but she's always in the gym doing extra conditioning, getting in lifts, um, you know, going above and beyond every single day. Um, you know, she's really tuned into what coach is saying. She's communicating probably, she's probably the loudest communicator on our entire team, um, especially on defense. And that's what we need right now. And she's been doing that all throughout camp. Um, you know, she's a very smart player. She cuts when she's supposed to. She doesn't make mistakes. It's, I mean, yes, you do, but yeah. we all do. I make a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but no, not really. Like she knows what she's doing and um, she's in the right place at the right time. And she really, she really understands basketball very well. And um, just to see her fit in has been really special to see, you know, from my end, obviously we've had a um, little bit different journeys, but at the same time, it's been pretty similar for us, you know, both being drafted second round coming into the league, um, but just really excited for her, um, her heart work has definitely paid off. Can I get a question in? I haven't seen a hand up, so. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I. Uh, that's on me. Go, go right ahead. Make it quick, if you wouldn't mind, please. So okay. Uh, just uh, uh, what it's what is it like going from where you two have been to playing for the, the league's dominant franchise in that city? Hmm. I mean, I think it's been amazing. Um, yeah, like obviously it's different and it's probably the best different. Like I, I feel really grateful to be able to learn from some of the best players in the world and the best coach in the world. And the city is really cool in itself. It's beautiful here. It's warm weather and uh, too warm. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> it's uh, it's just it's just beautiful. Like it, you know, it's something when I walk outside every single day and I see beautiful mountains it's warm weather and I'm driving to practice you know work technically like I feel like the luckiest person in the world so it it's pretty cool and um yeah not taking it for granted for sure it's a lot different than Port Wing Wisconsin that's for sure yeah, <laughs> yeah it's a very small town I'm surprised I'm even playing because who would have found me I mean thankfully Jam Jensen. thankfully, <laughs> thankfully Iowa did <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you all. Thank you.